Good day, Wonder Nurses and Nurse Anne. Join me and let's review and refresh your knowledge about communicable diseases like amoebiasis, typhoid fever, and schistosomiasis. So if you're ready, let's start. Amoebiasis. It is the parasitic infection of the intestine which is caused by the protozoan and amoeba histolytica. Source of infection, contaminated food and water, poor sanitation, flies and feces. Mode of transmission, fecal oral route. It is the ingestion of fecally contaminated food or water that contains amoebic cysts. Next, indirect contact. It is the indirect contamination of hands from contaminated surfaces. Oral anal sexual contact with a contaminated individual. Incubation period. The average incubation period is 2 to 4 weeks. Note, it is communicable as long as the cysts are present in the stool. Key manifestations. Abdominal cramps. Diarrhea. A foul-smelling watery stool that contains blood streak mucus. There is tenderness at the right iliac region. Fatigue or weakness. Finally, an intentional weight loss. Diagnostic test. A stool exam that will show the presence of amoeba in the stool. Management. Metronidazole. This is the drug of choice. Prevention. Health education with regards to the disease and appropriate sanitation measures. Proper disposal of feces. Hand washing. Proper food preparation. And drink only clean and safe water. Next is typhoid fever. It is a life-threatening systemic infection caused by Salmonella typhi bacteria. Source of infection, feces and urine of the infected person. Mode of transmission, fecal oral route, ingestion of contaminated food or water, direct and indirect contact with the infected person. Incubation period is one to two weeks. Key manifestations, sustained or ladder-like high fever. Headache, rose spots on the abdomen, weakness, loss of appetite, diarrhea or constipation, and abdominal discomfort. Diagnostic test, typhidot, which is the confirmatory test. The result is positive within 2 to 3 days of infection and it can detect the IgM and IgG antibodies. Rectal swab. The result will show the presence of Salmonella typhi. Treatment, chloramphenicol. This is the drug of choice for typhoid fever. Nursing considerations. Observe proper isolation and maintain standard precaution. Monitor vital signs. Watch out for intestinal bleeding or bowel perforation like abdominal tenderness and sudden pain in the right lower side of the abdomen. Finally, health education on proper sanitation, preparation of food and water, and disposal of excreta. Our last topic is schistosomiasis. It is also known as a snail fever. It is a slow, progressive infectious disease acquired when there is direct contact in fresh water infested by parasitic blood flukes. The most common causative agent in the Philippines and China is Schistosoma japonicum. Source of infection, stools and urine of the infected animals or person. Mode of transmission, penetration in the skin. People become infected when the larval forms of the parasite from freshwater snails penetrate the skin. 
Next is ingestion of contaminated water. Incubation period is 2 weeks to 2 months. Key manifestations, fever, swimmer's itch. This is the parasitic rush that is present 24 hours after the penetration in the skin. Blood in the stool, abdominal pain and diarrhea, Liver enlargement is common in advanced cases and is associated with the accumulation of fluid in the peritoneal cavity. There may also be spleen enlargement. Diagnostic tests. Stool and urine tests will show the presence of parasitic eggs in the specimen. Coop test. It is the confirmatory test and is a serologic test used to detect serum antibodies. Prevention Proper waste disposal, clean water supply, and health education about the disease. Thank you for listening. I hope you learned and understand something. If you want more videos, don't forget to subscribe. See you in the next video!